Hello, this is David from BitRescue.com. In this lesson, I am going to show you how to do various operation with DAD, spelled M-D-A-D-M. I am going to show you how to recover from a hard drive fault and assemble an existing RAID array. How to recover from a hard drive fault. Before I show you how to recover from a hard drive fault, let's look at the status of a working RAID array to see what it's looked like. Alternatively, you can type in the following command to get a more detailed status of your RAID array. This is my RAID 1 array, and it has two active devices and two working devices, which is as expected. In order for me to show you how to recover from a hard drive fault, there needs to be a hard drive fault. Since I don't have 5 or 10 years to wait for a hard drive to fail, I'm going to simulate the fault by physically removing one of the hard drive that belongs to my RAID 1 array. I've just shut down my computer, opened up my computer case, and unplugged one of the hard drive that belongs to my RAID 1 array. Let's look at the status of my RAID 1 array by typing in the following command. You can see that MD0 is now inactive due to a hard drive fault. Although my RAID 1 array now has only one hard drive, you can still manually run it by typing in the following command. Let's get the status of the array again. And this time you can see that MD0 is active with just one hard drive, SDB. Let's test the array to see if it's really working by mounting it with the following command. Let's go to the mount point to see if the array is mounted. The mount point is in MNT rate disk folder. You can see that it is mounted because it has a lost and found folder. Now I'm going to shut down my server and install a new hard drive to replace the faulty hard drive. In reality, I'm not really installing a new hard drive. The hard drive that I am going to install is the same hard drive that I remove from my server to simulate the to simulate the hard drive fault. Also, after I removed the hard drive to simulate the fault, I deleted all partition and wiped out all information to make the recovery process more realistic. Now I am going to use the fdisk command to see if Ubuntu is seeing the new hard drive that I have just installed by entering the following command. And as you can see, Ubuntu sees my new hard drive, which is SDD. Now I am going to prep my hard disk. I'm going to prep it by creating a new Linux RAID partition. If you don't know how to do this, read, uh, watch my other tutorial on how to create a RAID 1 array. To add the new hard drive to your existing RAID array, type in the following command. def md0 is my RAID 1 array and def sdd1 is the partition on my new hard drive. After entering the command, type, get the status of your RAID array. And you should see that it's currently in recovery mode. Now all you have to do is sit back and wait for the recovery to finish. After the recovery finish, check the status of your array again and make sure that the new hard drive, SDD, is part of the array. In this section of the lesson, I am going to show you how to manually assemble an existing RAID array. One of the situations where you need to manually assemble 
an existing RAID array is when you boot up into Ubuntu using a live CD and you need to access your RAID array drive. Now I am going to shut down my server and boot into Ubuntu using the live CD to demonstrate how to manually assemble an existing RAID array. I am now booted into Ubuntu 9.04. That does not come with Ubuntu 9.04 live CD by default. Thus you have to download and install it by entering the following command. Wait for the installation to finish. Now I am going to use FDIS to find my existing RAID partition by typing in the following command. As you can see, I have two RAID partition. One of them is SDB1 and the other is SDD1. I will need this information when I assemble the RAID array. Now I am going to assemble the RAID array by typing in the following command sudo mdadm dash dash assemble the name of my RAID array I'm going to choose MB0 and then the name, the device name of my two RAID array partition which is SDB1 and SDD1 and then press enter you should get the following output Next, you want to check the status of your array by typing in the following command. And as you can see, MD0 is now active with um, two, RAID array, two RAID partition, which is SDB1 and SDD1. Now to access the array, we need to mount the array. First we have to create a mount point. I'm going to create it in the MNT folder. And then to mount the array, I am going to use the mount command. To be sure that it is mounted, go to your mount point and see if there's a lost and found folder. My RAID array is indeed mounted. Thank you for watching the video. If you have any question, comments, or concern, feel free to go to bitwrestler.com and post your question in the forum.